Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Derange. Last time, we had a small encounter with a crazy man, and we had quite the chase. Alright, um, uh, bye! And now I'm outside, which is probably the last place I want to be at, so let's go ahead and get going. I should be able to climb this fence. Oh, so here we are. Let's see if we can find anything interesting. There's a bloodstained diary here. Oh. February 16th. I found a strange bug feeding on the plants this morning. A disgusting flesh-colored grub with giant teeth and nasty-looking suckers all over its body. Oh. I ran to get the bug spray, but the thing was gone when I came back. Whatever it was, I've never seen anything like that before. Was woken up at the crack of dawn by John from research banging on my bedroom door. He demanded to draw my blood, then told me to stay inside my cottage for the rest of the day. When I asked if something was wrong, he shrugged and said, just taking precautions. Precautions for what, I'll never know. I'm under the strict orders never to ask what goes on in that house. Oh, is that the house we're about to go into? I thought it was this place for a second. 18th. Saw that weird bug again. The thing dropped onto my shoulder while I was taking a piss and scared me half to death. I flicked it into the toilet and flushed it away. I've had a splitting headache all day. Taking aspirin doesn't help, so I'll hit the sack early. 19th. Headache even worse today. It hurts too much to write. I could barely keep... I could barely get a wink of sleep last night either. 20th. Oh, he stopped writing the... the year. Headache's still there. Or, headache's still here. It feels as if my brain is being torn in two. Whole head hurts. John came back to check on me. Bugs don't like him. So I killed him. Jeez. 22nd. Can't sleep. Head hurts. The next page appears to have been torn out. 28. Still hurts. Alright, so we got some crazy stuff going on with these bugs. Caretaker's diary added to the files. Those bugs he mentioned made him go crazy. I hope Dr. Prester's still okay. He probably isn't. There's a utility box key here. Take it. Okay. Okay, I got a key. Is this thing the utility box, I think? A metal utility box. Y yeah, you see? The door is held firmly shut with screws. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and use the... I don't have the key. Oh, what the heck was that? I got a magnet? I thought I got a key. Discarded key. Yeah, yeah. Can I use the... Magnet? Oh, I got it. Heck yeah, I got the front door key! Oh, I can't hop back over. Alright, we'll go the long way. Oh, shoot! Is that a dog? Oh, hey! It's a dog! <laughs> okay. Oh, crap! Oh, sh- Oh, oh, uh, uh, go! Uh, oh! Oh, shoot! Holy crap! Uh, okay, let's go! Oh! I found him! <gasps> oh shoot! Nathan! Behind you! What? Stay away! <laughs> oh, I killed him! Jessica, what on earth is that thing? What's happening in this place? Nope, dogs! Just my luck! Look, <laughs> looks like we've got no choice but to hide! Hurry! Inside the house! I'll explain everything later! 
Whoa. Oh, gosh. It's dark in here. Jeez. Oh, gosh. That gave me chills. So, we finally made it inside the house. It didn't look quite this big from the outside. Okay. First things first, we've got to look for... Whoa! Time out for a second. I'm not going anywhere until I know what just... Uh, until I know just happened out there. Yeah, okay. That's a bit of a typo right there. I was searching that creepy cabin outside for clues. Suddenly all the hell broke loose. It looks like Dr. Prester's wrapped up in something bad. Oh gosh. If it were up to me, I'd be searching for Dr. Prester. But you're the one who seems to have her head screwed on properly right now. What do you think we should do? What will you do? Oh gosh. Uh... Well, we went, came here to search for Dr. Prester, right? I said it's fine, Dr. Prester. We came here to find Dr. Prester, so we might so we might as well keep looking for him. If anybody can tell us what's happening here, or what happened here, I bet he can. I agree. If, if we're to have any chance of getting out of here alive, we gotta find Dr. Prester. This is a pretty big mansion, though. It's gonna be a lot of ground to cover. If only we knew where to start looking. Our chances will be better if we split up and search separately. <sighs> There's no need for both of us to get lost, but that's exactly what's gonna happen. If you split up, crap's gonna go down. Okay, that sounds good to me, and okay. I'm gonna go outside. It's too dangerous to go back outside. All right. Oh. Oh, no, that. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Oh, there's a blank notepad here. Take it, yeah. All right, so I got this last time. But I didn't show it in the video. Uh, I should have two of them now, right? Yeah, I got two of them. These things are safe. See, at the very top, it can be used to save the game anywhere. All right, so I got two ways to go. Uh, whichever place doesn't have monsters. Ah, uh, there's a monster. <laughs> I don't want to deal with them. They're creepy. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Subject number one, arachnid, tarantula. Date of exposure. Uh, that's May. Okay. May 23rd, 2001. After 24 hours began to exhibit rapid cellular mitosis consistent with uncontrolled growth, within a week, physical size had increased by 500%. Oh, gosh. No. German Shepherd. Seems, seems to assimilate relatively quickly after initial exposure. Unlike previous subject, size remains the same. Patches of skin appear to have been torn away, likely by the subject itself itching at the affected areas. Oh, no, that's horrible. These guys suck. After this period, subject appear to mutate extremely quickly, to a far greater extent than previously observed. Following dramatic alterations to skeletal structure, subject became unrecognizable. That's not good. Oh! Oh, why did that... That scared me. <laughs> Gosh dang it. What is this? There's a box of cartridges here. Is it actually something else? A box of shot... Ooh, a shotgun! I don't have a shotgun. I want it, though. Bye! <laughs> Oh, this- oh, gosh. Um... It hasn't been clean in a long time. This looks nice. Painkillers. I'll take it. How much- how many items do I have right now? Ten? Oh, I should have put some stuff away. Ha! Oh, 
Oh gosh. Uh, ah! Oh, they're everywhere. Ah! That's like a lady though. Bronze! I'm not keeping track of any of these. I'm gonna have to keep track. Oh. This sounds like a safe place. Ah, I'm so happy. February 17th. Okay, I'm, I need to probably like look to see what the order is of all of these things so I like, make sense of the story here. The number of staff affected by the accident continues to increase. At least half of the research team appears to be compromised by now. Yet Dr. Presser insists I continue my work. So far, I include the initial sim the initial symptom appears to be severe migraines, manifesting between 12 to 24 hours of first exposure. Following this, the subject reports insomnia or irritability, lasting for several days. It is during this stage that the individual begins communicating with the hive mind. No patient has been able to adequately describe this, other than expressing intense feelings of alienation, culminating in hysteria. Eventually, the subject reports individual desires, becoming entire, entirely subordinate to those of the alien intelligence. Are we dealing with aliens? What the heck? Over the next few days, I predict the most of the, I predict that most of the staff will succumb fully to the madness, likely losing their agency entirely. Despite Dr. Prester's hopes, it seems finding a way to halt this process is impossible. Prester's a madman. I'll go ahead and end this episode here. It's getting intense. I, I'm doing my best to avoid combat because earlier on in the game, it did suggest that I should avoid it at all costs. So I'm going to be very careful. But if you enjoyed this, let me know. And hopefully I can see you again in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching.